Okay, so now that you have um, set the infinity on all of these, you should be able to go to frame one, hit play, and everything should move. So hopefully you can see how that's working on mine. So I've got 100 frames worth of animation. Things are going at different speeds around the sum. Okay, so in this video, we're going to create what's called a play blast of what we've created um, so that you can see that what you've animated works well. Now, when you're dealing with larger scenes with a lot going on, or you're on a terrible computer, as I am, um, Maya might struggle to play every frame at the right speed, so it might start skipping frames. To combat that, you can create a play blast of your animation which plays it one at a time and then outputs it through a media player so that you can see it in real time. So we're going to create one of those now. But before I do that, I'll make it so it looks a bit nicer. So I'll turn my textures and my lights on. Uh, I'm going to frame it up so that it doesn't look quite as crap. Let's put it back on. There we go. It's a nice, a nice view. So let's have that one. Okay, so now I can see all my planets. I'm also going to make it a little bit longer. So I think I'm going to change it to about 250 frames. So that the planets get to go all the way around the sun, or hopefully they will. I've not really done the maths. Uh, okay, so that's where this goes. So we're going to create a play blast. Now to do that, you need to right click on your timeline. And then you'll see something that's labeled play blast. Now, I've found that this can be problematic. It didn't used to be. It might just be my computer. But I have to change some of the settings before it works for me. So if you click on that, these are currently set to default. Um, AVI is fine, but if I leave encoding on none, it doesn't work. So I choose that um, IYUV codec, but you can change to whichever one of these work for you. Quality is fine. I'm actually going to make the scale about 0 0.8. You don't need it full size, but 0 0.8 is okay. And if you want, for whatever reason, you can choose to save it to a file and that will put it in the movie file of your project as well. But I don't need that. And then you just click on Play Blast. So what it does, as you can see, is it now, in turn, is playing each frame. And it's taking longer than it would. This is not in real time. Um, it's actually taking longer than I thought it would. Maybe if I'd known it was going to do this, I wouldn't have turned everything back on. But sometimes I just get overexcited. Okay, so we're going to let this go. There we go, I've hit frame 100. We can see that the planets are all um, looping nicely. And the thing about um, animating in this way is that once you get away from frame zero, the solar system that we've created starts to look more sort of random and like they're all on their own orbits. So as you can see now, they're all further away from each other. And it doesn't look quite as uniform as it did. So the longer that you play this for, um, the more natural it'll start to look. So we're just coming up on frame 250. There we go. And then it'll output. I've got mine set to play in VLC. And there you can see it's now playing at real time. It looks nice and smooth. There we go. Play that again. Um, I don't think I've zoomed in enough, but you should be able to see that the planets are also spinning on their axes as well. Um, but I think I'd have to get in closer to see that. But there we go. That then is creating a play blast, which is very useful. Okay, um, in the next video, I think we'll set about adding a camera to the scene so that we can animate that and start to get a nice panning shot of the room.